Hey guys, Doug Decker, Vertical Limit Fitness. We got Thursday's workout for you today. We got a base camp workout and then a minimal and no equipment workout. I'm gonna talk about all of them. Warm up's pretty much the same across the board as is the core work. The warm up today are jumping jacks. Always touch behind your back on those jumping jacks. Touch over your head on those jumping jacks. Get that full range of motion for the shoulder girdle. Want to make sure we get that good and warm. That's also going to get the legs and the heart rate going. Then we have a push up with an inchworm. Walk it out. Keep those legs as straight as you can, as always. One of my favorite movements. Walk it out there. Nice tight belly and, and buns. Let those elbows sit back. Press yourself up. Use that tempo we've been talking about if you need it. Then plant those knees and then come back up if you need it for that push up. Then we have a crab walk and a high hip bear crawl. Crab walks are really good for shoulder mobility. If you have tight shoulders, they're gonna be a little more difficult to perform. I have tight shoulders, so they hurt me, so I don't do them for a long time. But you can even just hold that position static if you don't wanna walk with it. Go ahead and hold that position static. I want high hips. So we're gonna set up, basic position on our butt, hands behind us, feet in front. We're gonna make sure that we wanna drive these hips up. All right, you can just hold this position, keeping those hips as high as you can, like a dip glute bridge, or you can walk with that position, but it's gonna be slow today. Keeping those hips raised, we don't want that butt to drop, and then move forward. From there, we're gonna do the exact opposite movement. We're gonna be in our bear crawl position, but instead of the low and slow, we're gonna be straight legged, high hips, walking it out, forward and backwards. All right, that's gonna be some of your warm up today. Then when you get into the workout, if you're looking at the no equipment or minimal equipment workout, 800 meter run, it's a nice day today in Tulsa. So if you're around here, go ahead and get outside and get that running. If you don't have 800 meters marked, you're gonna run for two minutes. So take your phone, take a watch, two minute run out, turn around, two minute one back. We're doing an 800 meter run at the end of this workout, so make sure you use that same distance. For the no equipment, they have you doing unilateral squats and lunges. If you don't have any equipment at all, just go ahead and do 12 squats, 12 lunges, three rounds. If you have any kind of equipment, you can do a dumbbell. They want that dumbbell in this position or a sandbag in this position. So you can do dumbbell, you can do a sandbag. If you don't have any of that, go to the store, buy a 40 pound bag of dog food. It's gonna work like a champ. Bag of dog food goes over the shoulder, gives you your, your squat position, six with it on this arm, switch it out, six with it on this arm. Then you can go right into the same thing with lunges. Lunge all the way down, six on one side, flip it to the other side, six on the other side. Sandbag from Home Depot or Lowe's. They have five pound sandbags. Go get a couple of those if you want. Put them in a duffel bag. Put them in a garbage bag. Duck, take the snot out of it. You got, a, you got your own sandbag there. So lots of different ways to get this work done. If you're on the minimal equipment workout, they have you with the dumbbell. They have you doing overhead squats with the dumbbell and then overhead lunges with the dumbbell. This I am not able to do personally. I have bad shoulder mobility in my left arm. I can't overhead squat with a dumbbell. So I'm gonna do the single arm dumbbell thruster, which is an alternative. Dumbbells in my front rack, squat, stand, press. I'm gonna do six with one arm, six in the other arm. Then I'm gonna go to that overhead lunge. If I can't dumbbell overhead lunge, front rack overhead lunge, number one, Another alternative, we do this a lot. Grab a plate, put that plate up over your head, and then you're gonna give me lunges. Reverse step lunge, forward walking lunge, it doesn't matter. Anything you can do there to get it. Of course, if you don't have any items, just lunge, no weight needed. If you're gonna be doing the boot camp workout, our base camp workout today, pretty much the same thing. This time though, they have you rowing 15 calories. If you don't have a row machine, run for a minute. If you have a dumbbell or a plate, you could also do sumo depth of tie pulls. Sit right here, grab this dumbbell, give me a high pull. If you have a barbell, you can do high pulls. Usually it's a calorie per pull, so go ahead and do 20 sumo depth of tie pulls if you're gonna sub that in. From there you're gonna do 12 front rack reverse step lunges, <clears throat> and then another 400 meter run, you're gonna do three rounds of that. Your front rack reverse step lunges. Same concept as if we were doing the minimal equipment. Barbell in the front rack position, dumbbells in the front rack position, two of them right here. 
and you're going to step backwards. Step backwards. They tell you to stay in place on these. It's going to actually put you in the right position for a lunge. Sometimes moving forward, we let that knee come over our toe. A lot of pressure on that patella tendon. We don't want to be doing that. We want to get the good stretch. We'll make sure we're push, uh, driving up off our front heel on that front foot. After all this is said and done, we have some core work and then we have some accessory work. The accessory work for base camp today is Renegade Rose. I'm staying light. Today's my rest day. I'm not going to add the push up in there. So, what I want is a wide foot base from you guys and a good solid elbow row all the way back. Both hands equals one rep. That's one. From there, you're going to stand up. You're going to give me that hip hinge. You're going to give me those RDLs. Sit back hard. Show off the front of your shirt. Let those hands stay on your legs. You know, you know you're keeping your back engaged. And then stand. Again, this is straight hips. Hips sit back. Weights on my heels. I can even wiggle my toes a little bit. And then come up. That's going to be the RDL. Last but not least, our core work today. L sit supermans. Reverse snow angels. L sits are a little more difficult, but I like if you can't do L sits, is what I call that pike up, right? We're nice and tall, chest is up, feet are out in front of us. Put those hands down in front, bring those legs up. You can just bring them up and hold. Count that as your L sit. If you have boxes or parallettes, some strange reason if you have a stairway with two rails, you can use those. And L sit, of course, getting the hips off the ground, driving yourself up. Bringing those legs off the ground. Hold on that, that's difficult. Our Superman's gonna be some posterior chain work today. For this posterior chain work, we're gonna sit right down here in this position, squeeze the butt, squeeze the hamstring, squeeze the back. Gonna come up and hold. Now, the last one we burst snow angel is basically a dynamic Superman. Here's what I like to do with it. So I'm going to be right here. Here's my Superman. I'm going to come out. I'm going to come up. I'm going to bring my arms back. I like this piece. Good shoulder stuff. You can even come up like you're swimming almost. Let those hands turn over. And then come back. And then down to that W position and back up. Those are the movements for Thursday's workouts. Both the minimal equipment or no equipment. And our base camp workout. Check out our PRs all day video on the Sugar Watt app. Tag me when you do your work, Vertical Doug 1, Vertical Limit Fitness. Good luck, stay strong, be well.